Hey Guiding Bolt fans, I just wanted to jump on here really quick um, with a little tip on something I messed up on so maybe you can avoid doing the same thing that I did. I bought this Epson 2800 printer because I want to do sublimation printing on shirts and cups and mugs and I bought everything months ago. I bought the special ink. I thought I knew what I was doing. I went through the printer setup and of course, because I wasn't thinking, I just put the ink in that came with the printer, but that is traditional ink. It is not the right ink. You buy separate ink, which I had done. You need the sublimation ink. And unfortunately, because I was just rolling through the setup, I dumped in the old ink. Um, so there's a bunch of videos online. I'm sure you can look them up too. It's, it's pretty much, they're all similar. You're going to take your printer apart and then you need something like this to suck out the old ink from your lines. You're going to suck it out of here, get it empty. And then I did have the sublimation ink. So I put that in and ran a couple test prints and it was not working. It was not transferring onto the t-shirt that I was trying to transfer on. And I thought I was literally thought I ruined my printer, but I think what it was is just that old ink was still in the lines, even though I had flushed them, and it just needs to get down to the point where it was actually pulling the sublimation ink that I had stuck in. So I looked everywhere online. They basically said, just keep printing. I printed over 100 things. It, it didn't seem like it was mattering. So I found one person who had a video for something kind of different, and she was talking about the maintenance cycles on this printer. And one of them, she said, don't do this one very often. It sucks up a lot of ink, which was perfect because I wanted to suck up a bunch of ink. I wanted to run this through the tank so I could get down and actually be using this sublimation ink that was in here. So all you need to do on your machine is go over to maintenance and then you want to run this power clean cycle and it's going to give you some instructions here and it's going to say are you sure um and it does take, I think it takes a little while and then it says it might not quite print right for, I think it's set up to 12 hours. I personally didn't have any issues. I ran the power clean and then I did, um, I did, I think I had to do a head cleaning and a nozzle check after that just to make sure everything was right. But then I just printed to the sublimation paper with the sublimation ink and it transferred right onto the t-shirt and everything worked great. So... If you're like me and you put in the ink that came with the printer, just suck it all out of there. And then if you run that cycle, if you can see, it did bring my levels down quite a bit. I mean, I've printed a couple things now, but most of this happened just from running that power clean. So it really did drag them down from it was up at the top to about there. But if you need to flush out that other ink, that is definitely the, the step to take so you don't have to go in and clean the lines more or keep printing on paper trying to run your ink down. Um, I hope you found this helpful. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. And as always, we appreciate you. Thanks.